What's up guys, Electro here, and it's Monday, so that can only mean one thing, and we are back with an early access tester review. This time we are looking at Cat Interstellar, which came out on the 28th of August. It's currently on sale on Steam, or it was on sale on Steam, uh, should I say, when the game came out. Um, it's early access, and I would say that it's uh, very, very early access, because there's only about 15 minutes of gameplay in this game. I think probably the best way for me to show you what the game's all about is just to jump straight in and we'll uh, have a chat about it as we go along. I see we have a successful boot sequence with Unit 3 and DOG. Yeah, she's definitely responsive, but it's impossible to know the amount of data degradation she's sustained. The effects of stutter drive technology is still a little hit or miss. Honestly, Hard to believe even a single memory could survive 14 years of faster than light travel, let alone an entire personality. Here we go. Looks like she's coming online. Good. Go ahead and attach the spectrometer module, and then initialize the comm link. Adding spectrometer now. Just a heads up, we weren't shipped any new S links, so we'll have to communicate our uh, situation over the audio channels. So that's our head so, sort of just appeared. Can you hear me? Sorry, but we weren't shipped any pitch modulators either. She won't be able to respond. I see. Never mind then. Please activate our navigation protocols. I'll take her to the command room and pre-run the situation. Roger that. Follow me, dog. Okay, so this is our character. We start off as some sort of robotic dog. Uh, all we can really do at the moment is just pick things up and throw them. Like that. Um, So it appears there is some sort of physics in the game. It's um, still really, really early on in development, so there's not really too much that we can do. Um, we are in this base, I suppose, is probably the best way to describe it. I've reviewed the data myself, and there should be substantial amounts of graphic here. If this operation is successful, likely continue its terraforming operation. I'll explain in more detail once we get to the command room. We'll have to go through the greenhouse though. The hallway is under repair after a uh, recent incident with the skylift. So we're on the planet in order to terraform it and uh, the story will sort of unravel a little bit more as we get through the game, or certainly through this one level. Even though it will be decades before the atmosphere is able to sustain vegetation, we are constantly testing different strains of plants. It is a note that the only bacteria in the lab is one of the great scientific discoveries in human history. This is this some sort of hydroponics lab? You may also encounter our short haired test companion at some point. She prefers to keep away from the main halls. Every now and then you can find her prowling around plants in here, but she mainly sticks to the air ducts. I'm sorry to hear your memory cache is wiped during your journey. I'll try to make this quick because we need to get you in the mind as soon as possible. The planet you're currently on is Kepler 452b. It's roughly 1400 light years from Earth. The first planetary probes confirmed that it not only resided in the habitable zone, but also had an abundance of liquid water just below the surface. After the planet side survey team discovered native life in the form of bacteria, the decision was made to terraform. While the promise of population relief for Earth will never become a reality, successful colonization of Kepler 452b will all but ensure the survival of the human race. Here's a map of our sector, A13. We have outposts all over the planet, but our sector is mainly dedicated to producing and infusing ammonia in the atmosphere. Fortunately, we also uncovered a numerous deposit of graphite while anchoring the sky lift. However, we've had some difficulty finding its exact location. That's why we requested a dog unit. Over the next few months, you'll be helping us mark the deposits. We've established a small mine a few hundred meters from here, and that's where you'll start. Before that, though, we'll need you to use that grab lift module near the sky lift. Apparently, they had another catastrophic failure and lost some lives. Those are becoming increasingly common. It wasn't completely unexpected, though. Finding our hydraulic fracturing occurs much the same effect as was found on Earth in the early 21st century. The research division has not yet had the opportunity to conduct a thorough investigation. 
investigation into the geology of this planet. Much to their frustration, the UNC placed rush orders on our excavations, and it appears unlikely any further environmental studies will take place in the near future. Given how long it takes to travel to this planet, the only impact studies performed were by the original surveyors over 150 years ago, well before we started terraforming. Alright, time to get to work. Head down the stairs to your left. The exit is at the end of the hallway. Android 341 will give you your assignments. So if we have a look here, this is the map of um, the base. That long tall thing is the sky lift and the purple thing will be the mine that we're going to go to in a moment. So for now we're just going to go down and see the other android. Uh, we've got no sprint mode at the moment so we can only W, S, A and D to move around. Uh, we can't jump either. There are literally five keys enabled on this game. W, A, S and D to move and then we've got uh, left shift to sprint and space bar to jump. Hopefully Android 1 didn't bore you too much with the details. I'm sure you're anxious to get to work. I'm going to activate your P thrusters now. Should be able to cover okay, so we can now sprint because he's activated them, You'll and we can jump. jump. Kind of like an actual dog. Android 52 says he needs some help over at the Skylift, but in all honesty, he's the last one who's going to complain if you're late. Feel free to explore the base some more, but don't let Android 1 see you using those thrusters inside. Anyway, I'll get these blast doors open for you. If you need some help finding this, just look up. You can't miss it. Okay, so we're going to go off towards the Skylift. Um, Certainly in terms of the planet it looks quite good, graphics wise it's running reasonably well. Um, there's our base back there. You'll have to forgive the big sort of light blue bubble that appears. I don't really know why it does that in this game. As you can kind of see just about. Whether or not that's a graphical glitch, I don't know. It's um, pretty annoying, but it is just in the sky. It doesn't really incorporate the um, the land in any way. So yeah, it's 15 odd minutes of um, gameplay in this. Uh, we'll rush through it as quickly as we can, um, and then. Uh, that will Dog. literally be the end of the episode because we can't do a lot more than uh, there is in it at the moment. Drive technology is still a little shady. We've had some pretty bad luck around here lately. An earthquake caused a small explosion in one of the turbines and the aftershocks and a ripple through the links. I'm not going to lie. It was pretty cool to see thing tear itself apart. One of the links even landed on the base. Android 1 obviously wasn't too happy about it, but uh, for the most part we got everything working again. I'm really surprised it wasn't worse. Anyway, we were in the middle of a shipment when it happened and some of the crates we were sending up went flying. If that wasn't bad enough, a sandstorm set in when we were repairing the lift and the crates got blown all over the place. On the bright side, it was actually a small shipment of graphite, so this will be a good chance to test out that sensor. You should start to pick up faint traces of graphite in the air when close. You'll know when you see it. There's only three left, so just place them in the sky lift when you find them. They've already been pretty battered by the storm and the fall, so don't hesitate to throw them around if you're in a hurry. Just try not to drop them in the pit, or we'll never get them back. I'll be here when you're done. Okay, so when the sky lift collapsed, it dropped three boxes of graphite. We just need to go and find them, and that is the first part of this level. Um, the easiest way to find them is you can find the trails on the ground, because the sensors in the dog unit pick up the location just as it's done here we just follow these and there it is there's the first box so we can press left mouse button to pick it up just fly back over to the grav lift and we'll chuck this in So we just go off and find the second box. Which from memory was over this way. Yeah, there we go. And 
going to take this one back to the skylift, chuck it in the elevator, and then off to find the third. one is just around the back here. And there we go, there's the trail that's picked up. Three. Take this one back to the grav lift or the sky lift, whatever it's called, and then we're going to show you the second part of the game or this level. I keep calling it a game because it's nowhere near finished, it's literally just a level at the minute. Probably the first part of the story. And then I'll show you a couple of the things whilst we're moving on to the second part um, that I've sort of picked up on in terms of graphical glitches that potentially wow. need to be sorted. Really lost all of them. Alright. Anyway, Android One's been messaging me since you left. I want you to meet him over at the mine. If you turn the power tube back, you should see it on your left. There's two light posts out front. Thanks again for the help. So we've got to go and go over to this mine over here. Luckily it marks it exactly where we need to go so we don't really need to follow that green power line. Uh, but yeah, in terms of graphical glitches, look at the planet and the moon up there. As soon as I do this, kind of extends that planet and makes it into a bit of a pear shape. Same with the sun up there. I think part of the problem is there's a VR mode to this game, so you can play it via virtual reality goggles. And that may well be an after effect from that mode, possibly. I don't know. Other than that, the game looks good. Uh, it seems to run really well. Certainly about 60 FPS. That's roughly what I'm getting. Uh, okay, we're entering the mine. I trust you're comfortable using your equipment. He's not inherently dangerous, so stay focused and don't I'm jump down into pits. Find yourself needing to jump across. Your P-thrusters are capable of producing a secondary blast in the air. It will help navigate the mines, but will save you from a fall. You should need a mirror, but when we get deeper in the mine, you will definitely come with you. Stay close. Okay, so we can jump and then press jump again whilst we're in the air and it will... Um, this is a good dog. These numbers are too high. Enable us to wrong. jump a little bit higher. Well, I'm assuming he's dead as a result of that. So we've woken back up. If we fall down the gap, it just literally chucks us back up again, look. So you can't go down there. Uh, I figured out it's pretty pointless to go across here because there is nothing more that we can do. We can't get out of here. So, we have to move these things out of the way. And then I figured out we can get down here. There is nothing more though, and this ultimately is the end of the game as far as its development at the moment. There's a tunnel down here that doesn't go anywhere. And then up over here is another tunnel. We're a little off branch, again, doesn't really go anywhere. So I'll just show you guys so that you're fully aware of the extent of the level at the minute. Yeah, so this one goes to a dead end and so does this one. And the 
last thing that the devs have done is just put in some writing so that you know that you're at the end of the level as far as you're aware at the minute and that's this bit here so it says thanks for playing the first part of Cat Interstellar we really appreciate your support and feedback the purpose of this build is to refine the player controls and give you an introduction to the story we highly encourage you to give us feedback in the forums and once again thanks for playing so ultimately guys that is Cat Interstellar there's about 15 minutes worth of gameplay there you can see the graphics you can see how the player controls are going to work and uh, as a rough introduction to the story so um, if you're buying this to play you're only going to get about 15 minutes worth of gameplay however if you want to buy it at a massively reduced price compared to the price it's probably going to be when it eventually completes and ships um, then it may well be worthwhile picking up equally if you want to support the devs because you like the idea behind the game or you like the gameplay style then again it's probably a good idea to pick the game up whilst it's in early access because it's going to be a lot cheaper and you get the satisfaction of supporting the devs in um, creating this game so that's pretty much all we've got for you in terms of cat interstellar keep an eye on it um, I'll let you know if there's any news certainly the only way you're ever going to find that out is if you hit that subscribe button because you will not know when we do our next video on Cat Interstellar. I will keep an eye on it in terms of the forums and uh, release any future updates in the form of a new video as long as they're relatively bulky and uh, decent updates. So I'm not going to do them for the small patches but equally I will do them for the larger scale updates that, uh, that Cat Interstellar devs will be releasing. So just watch this space. Guys, as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time on Early Access Tester Review.